Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will discuss about the measure of central tendency of group data. So, we are going to compute the mean, median, and mode of group data. Data which are arranged into a frequency distribution are called group data. So, when the number of elements is too large, it is best to compute for the measure of central tendency and variability using the frequency distribution. So, what are the formulas to compute the mean, median, and mode of group data? So first, to compute the mean of group data, so this symbol is for the mean, and this symbol, F stands for the frequency, and X is the class mark, and N is the total frequency. Next is for median, so what is the formula to compute the median of group data? So using this formula, where your F is this uh, summation of your frequency, and then LB, or this, that is the lower boundary of the median class, and this symbol is that is the frequency of the median class, and I stands for the class mark, and CF stands for the cumulative frequency before preceding or preceding the median class. And the formula to compute the mood, uh, mode of group data, so that is, uh, this one is the lower boundary of the model class, and this sub 1, your D sub 1, that is the difference of the model class, and uh, the difference of the frequency of the model class and the frequency of the class preceding it. And D sub 2, the difference of the frequency of the model class and the frequency of the class succeeding it. Alright, so for example, find the mean, median, and mode of the height of 40 students of grade 10 class. So first, okay, compute natin yung mean. Uh, to compute the mean, kailangan natin makompleto yung table natin or yung frequency distribution table natin. So ang kakailanganin natin is to... Uh, compute the lower boundary, the class mark, okay, the product of your frequency times the class mark and the cumulative frequency. So, first is uh, lower boundary. So, paano natin kukunin again yung lower boundary? So, kukunin natin sa, okay, first pala is you need to uh, get the summation or the total of frequencies. Okay, so ilan lahat? So, 3 plus 5 plus 9, plus 12, plus 5, plus 4, and plus 2, that is 40. So, ito yung unahin nyo. I-add nyo muna tong frequency natin and get the total. After that, yung lower boundary na natin. So, yung lower boundary nating class, that is, saan yung manggagaling yung lower boundary natin? Sa lower limit natin. So, paano kinukuha yung lower boundary? So, kinukuha natin yung lower boundary binabawasan natin ng 0.5 o magsusubtract tayo ng 0.5 from the lower limit. So, start tayo. For 118, bawasan ng 0.5, that is 117.5. And for 127, minus 0.5, that is 126.5. Same with 136 to 172. So, babawasan lang din ng 0.5. Okay? Next natin kukunin is the class mark. Okay, yung X represented for class mark. So, paano kinukuha yung class mark? That is, uh, we're going to add the upper limit and the, or the, we're going to add the lower limit plus the upper limit then divide it by 2. So, again, add natin silang dalawa and divide it by 2. Okay, so 118 plus 126 divide by 2, the answer is 122. And after that, next tayo, 127 plus 135 divide by 2, the answer is 131. So, same din sa gagawin nyo sa uh, susunod na mga classes up to makarating kayo dito sa baba. So, if you're going to compute the class mark of 136 to 144, that is 140. Next class natin, that is 149. And then, ang next is 158, 167, and 176 okay 
So after natin makompute yung class mark, okay, yung makompute natin yung class mark, it, sunod natin yung product ng frequency and then the class mark. Okay, so isa-isahin natin yan. 3 times 122, that is, okay, so 366. So again, imumultiply natin yung frequency and then the class mark. Next is 5 times 131, that is 655. 9 times 140, that is 1,260. 12 times 149, that is 1,788. 5 times 158, the answer is 790. 4 times 167, the answer is 668. And 2 times 176, the answer is 352. And then, kunin natin yung summation nito. Or, or add natin silang lahat. So, that is 5,879. Then last, kunin natin yung cumulative frequency. So, paano kinukuha? Kung saan tayo nag-start sa class limits, so doon din tayo magsisimula sa cumulative frequency natin. So, as you can see class, uh, yung unang class ay nag-start sa taas. So, pababa. Kasi yung iba ang given, uh, yung unang class nag start sa baba, pataas. Since dito sa given natin, ang unang class ay nag-start sa taas, so dito rin tayo magsisimula sa taas ng cumulative frequency. So, paano natin kukunin? So, ilagay natin yung unang frequency class and that is 3. So, after nyan, pagkakuha uh, ng unang uh, frequency natin, that is 3, i-add natin dun sa kasunod. Okay? Add natin dun sa kasunod. So, that is 3 plus 5, that is 8. Then, 8 plus 9, so, i-add lang natin sa kasunod na frequency. So, 8 plus 9, that is 17. 17 plus 12, that is 29. So, 29 plus 5, that is 34. 34 plus 4, that is 38. Then, 38 plus 2, that is 40. So, ta Machi-check natin na tama yung cumulative frequency natin kapag yung last number or yung last CF natin is uh, yun yung total ng uh, frequency natin. Okay, so kompleto na yung frequency distribution table natin. So, makakompute na natin yung mean natin. So, using this formula. So, the summation of Fx is 5,879 and then yung total number of frequencies natin is 40. So, substitute sa formula, 5,879 divide 40, the answer is 146.975 or that is 147 na. Okay. Next, to compute the median, so ang kakailangan nilang natin sa median class is your lower boundary and then the cumulative frequency. Okay, again, ang kakailangan nilang natin sa median ay yung lower boundary and yung cumulative frequency natin. So, using the formula, so paano ba natin kukomputin yung median of group data? So, ang unang step na gagawin natin class is to determine the median class. So, sa pitong class, ilang, ali, uh, saan dito yung median class natin? So, paano natin makuha yon? Una, kunin natin ito. So, the summation of frequency, okay, over 2. So, paano natin gagawin yun? So, what is the summation of frequency natin? That is 40 divide 2. So, the answer is 20. So, paano natin makukuha or ma-determine yung median class gamit itong uh, nakuha natin, which is 20. So, dito tayo ngayon titingin sa cumulative frequency natin. Saan magpo-fall yung 20? Dito sa unang class, yung CF natin is 3. So, ibig sabihin hanggang 3 pa lang yan. Dito sa pangalawang class natin, yung CF natin is 8. So, ibig sabihin hanggang 8 lang. Sa pangatlong class natin, 17. So, ibig sabihin hanggang 17. Hindi pa pasok yung 20 dyan. Kasi hanggang 17 lang yan. Tama? So, therefore, okay, magpo-fall yung 20 na to dito sa 29. So, ibig sabihin... Ito ngayon ang median class natin. Okay? So, ito ngayon ang median class. So, again, ang unang step na gagawin nyo, 
kunin nyo muna, so i-divide nyo muna yung total frequencies natin sa 2. Then kung ano yung sagot dito, titingnan natin sa cumulative frequency natin kung saan magpo-fall yung uh, nakuha nyo. Okay, since 20 yung nakuha natin, so ibig sabihin uh, pasok siya dito sa 29, hindi dito sa 17. So ito ngayon ang median class natin, tinatawag nating median class. After natin ma-determine yung median class natin, makukuha na natin yung ibang uh, kakailanganin natin sa formula. Okay, first is the lower boundary. So, tingin tayo sa lower boundary. Ano yung lower boundary ng median class? That is 144.5. Okay, and then the frequency ng median class. So, yung ano yung frequency ng median class natin? That is 12. And after that, kunin natin yung cumulative frequency. Ang pagkuha ng cumulative frequency dito sa median class ay hindi yung uh, CF dun sa median class, hindi yung 29. Ang kukunin yung CF dito is yung before or preceding the median class. Ano yung CF before the median class? That is 17. Okay, so again, Ang kinukuha nating CF dito is yung before the median class. Okay, before. So, kung dito kayo nag-start ng CF, so nandito sa baba yung CF na kukunin nyo kasi before. Since dito tayo nag-start sa taas, pababa, so ang, ang CF natin ay nandito sa taas no median class. So, tatandaan na ang CF natin ay hindi yung nasa median class, yung before the median class. And then after that is the class width or the class size. So paano natin makukuha yung class width or the class size? So i-minus natin yung second lower limit natin doon sa unang lower limit. So 127 minus 118, that is 9. So ibig sabihin yung class size natin dito is 9. So kompleto na yung kakailanganin natin sa formula for median of group data. So, ang gagawin nilang natin, substitute natin sa formula. So, 144.5 plus, okay, so 20 minus 17 over 12. So, yung summation of F over 2 natin is 20. And then, yung CF natin is 17. And then, yung frequency ng median class is 12 times 9. And after that, simplify 20 minus 17, that is 3 over 12. So, ang unan yung gagawin kapag calculator ang gagamitin nyo. So, pwede naman to direct na sa calculator na. O kaya, para hindi kayo magkamali, unahin nyo muna to 3 divide 12, okay, equals times 9. So, that is 2.25. Then, add nyo dito sa lower boundary natin. So, 144.5 plus 2.25. The median of group data is 147.75. So, ito yung median sa given natin. Next, last is the mode of group data. So, anong kailanganin nyo naman kapag mode? So, ang kailanganin nyo lang natin is yung lower boundary. So, unang-una class, so using the formula, ang una yung kukunin dito, identify nyo, tingin ka tayo sa, pre, uh, sa frequency natin, kung sino yung pinakamataas na frequency natin. So, sino yung pinakamataas na frequency natin? Or ano yung pinakamataas na frequency natin? That is 12. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ito yung model class natin. Okay, so para ma-determine yung model class, tingnan kung sino yung, ah, kung ano yung pinakamataas na frequency. And that is the model class. So after that, kunin na natin yung kakailanganin natin sa formula. So yung lower boundary ng model class natin is... 144.5 Next is yung D sub 1 So yung D sub 1, that is the difference of the frequency of the model class and the frequency of the class preceding it So, saan yun? Okay, yun, ito yun Okay, so ito yung frequency ng model class at ito naman yung frequency before the model class So, ima-minus down natin So, 12 minus 9 The answer is 3. So again, yung D sub 1 natin, yung D sub 1 is the difference of the frequency of the model class and the frequency of uh, of the before or the class preceding it. 
Okay? So, tatandaan nyo yan. So, the answer is 3. And then, D sub 2, the difference of the frequency of the model class and the frequency of the class succeeding it. So, saan yun? Ito yun. Okay? So, after nung model class naman, okay, kukunin natin yung difference. So, 12 minus 5, so that is 7. So, tandaan yung pagkakaiba ha? Yung D sub 1 class, yung difference nung model class natin, yung frequency ng model class, at yung frequency bago yung model class. Pero yung D sub 2, uh, difference ng frequency ng model class natin at yung frequency nung uh, after ng model class natin. So, yan na ang kakailanganin natin to compute the mode of group data. So, since kompleto na, we're using now the formula. Ah, yung i pa. So, yung i nakuha na natin kanina yan. That is 9. Diba? Ma-minus lang natin. 127 minus 118. That is 9. So, using the formula, substitute all the given, uh, all the values na nakuha natin. So, that is 144.5 plus, yung d sub 1 natin is 3, over 3 plus 7, kasi yung d sub 1, that is 3, plus d sub 2, na, uh, 7, times 9. And then, 3 plus 7, that is 10. Okay, 3 times 10, times 9, 3 ti uh, no, 3 over 10, times 9, that is 2.7, plus 144.5. So, hindi na palit. Dapat 144.5 to. Okay, so, 144.5 plus 3 over 10, times 9. So, 3 over 10 times 9, that is 2.7 plus 144.5. The answer is 147.2. So, gan uh, ganito, compute, eh, kukompute natin yung mean, median, and mode ng group data. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.